This is 10.1a of geometry. So we're going to start talking about area, and we're going to start with the area of a rectangle and the area of a parallelogram. So the area of a rectangle and a parallelogram both have the same equation, and that's a equals bh. Okay, so the base of a parallelogram could be any side. It just depends which height you have. So our height is always going to be an altitude. So you can see in this one that the altitude's inside, and this one the altitude's outside. Um, to know which base and altitude you're using, whatever height you have, the base that goes with it is the one that's perpendicular to it, okay, where the right angle is. So this altitude, this height, goes with this base right here because that's where the right angle is. So let's try a problem. It says, what is the area of a parallelogram with base 12, ooh, base 12 and a height of 9? So there's my rough sketch of a parallelogram. This is 12 meters, and I know that the height is 9 meters. So A equals BH, right? And I'm going to plug in 12 for my base and 9 for my height. 12 times 9 gives me 108. So our area is 108, and use units if they give it to you. So this is meters. So if we're talking area, this is square meters, or meters squared. Um, we're not going to do these top two problems here, but I do want to look at them and figure out which base goes with, with the height. So, if we have this height here, it goes with this base here because that's where the perpendicular is. That's where the right angle is. If we use this height right here, this is the base, so the 2 is what we're going to use because that's where the right angle is. That's where it's perpendicular. Okay. We can also find missing dimensions, right? When we think about a rectangle, if you were finding the area of a rectangle, right? Let's say it's 10 by 3, right? If I use these two numbers, 10 times 3, I'll give the area 30. I also know that this side's 10, and I can use these two numbers, and I'll still get the area of 30. And I can use these numbers, and I'd still get the area of 30, or these ones, and I'd still get the area of 30, right? And when I'm doing that, my numbers never change. It's always going to be 3 times 10, 3 times 10. We're just using different sides. When we're working with a parallelogram, though, right, if you look at this one up here, this has a base of 13, and this one down here has a base of 9.4. So if I use this base of 13 with this height of 9, I'm going to get an area. And if I use other sides, I'm still going to get that same area, but it's going to be using different numbers, right? This one uses 9 and 13, but if I used this base and whatever this height is, it's going to use 9.4 in whatever this number is. Okay, It's still always going to be the same amount of area because we're talking about the same shape, but you're going to use different numbers. So we're going to do our got it problem here. It has sides of 15 and 18, and this is not at all to scale, but 15 and 18. And it says the height corresponding to the 12, or sorry, to the 15 centimeter base is 9. So this here is 9. So this base and this height go together, right, because they have the right angle there. This one and this one, they go together. So I can calculate the area, base times height, so I get 15 times 9. And when I do 15 times 9, I get 135. Okay, but it wants to know what is the height of the corresponding or what's the height of the corresponding altitude to an 18 centimeter base. So if I use this as my base, then how tall is my height going to be? Well, when I use those two together, I know that the area is still going to be the same, right? So A equals BH. I know it's still going to have an area of 35, 135. And I know what the base is, I just don't know what the height is. So I can plug in 18 for the base and solve for H. So if I do 135 divided by 18 we get that the height is 7.5 centimeters. And that would be your answer. So you set it up with the two numbers that you have already and the ones that go together, right? Your base and your height that go together. Find your area and then do the equation again, but this time using the other base. So in this case, the 18 to solve for the other height. And there's your homework.